As Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro walked up the steps of the Palace of the Revolution in Havana, he knew his country would be one of the main topics discussed at the seventh summit of the Association of Caribbean States, opening during the first weekend of June. In our opinion, the OEA, from its foundation, was and will be an instrument of domination imperialist y que ninguna reforma podría cambiar su naturaleza ni su historia. Por eso Cuba jamás regresará a la OEA. As Venezuela's closest ally, Cuba was suspended by the Organization of American States for nearly five decades, before being invited back in 2009, but refusing to rejoin. Earlier this week, the OAS Secretary General Luis Almagro called to invoke the organization's democratic charter to suspend Venezuela due to alleged human rights violations and a lack of democracy. No podemos permanecer indiferentes ante las turbulencias que tienen lugar en América Latina y el Caribe como consecuencia de la contraofensiva imperialista y oligárquica contra los gobiernos populares y progresistas surgidos tras el fracaso de la ola neoliberal, lo que constituye una amenaza a la paz, la estabilidad, la unidad y la imprescindible integración regional. Nineteen presidents and prime ministers from across the ACS bloc, with 25 member states in all, are expected to approve the Havana Declaration at the summit. The declaration will focus on political issues such as the ongoing U.S. blockade on Cuba, the Venezuelan crisis, as well as laying out a joint action plan for the economic and commercial cooperation among member nations for the next two years.